Hello, guys. Hello. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> really Very good. Well. Very good. Awesome. Well, I'm so happy to have you guys here with us and a part of our small business bazaar. Why don't you give us a little intro about yourselves, your names, your business, and where you're located? Go ahead. I'm John, and this is my wife, Cody, and we are in Nevada, Missouri, and we make little handmade journals. And whenever my other stuff gets here, then I'll be able to add pins to that. So that'll be, that's a fun new addition to our oh, shop. Oh, awesome. That goes hand that's in hand. We're working towards. Yeah. yeah. It's just one of the things where you got to get the tools and the equipment, and then you can start playing around with it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Very cool. Do you guys have any, actually, I should have asked you this before. Do you have any nearby to show? Uh, I can make that happen. <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> sweet. Yeah, it's one of those things where you know we we have them sitting around, but we're trying to store them. So, yeah. right. But, yeah, we we like to take care of them. So now, do you both bind them, or is one person more of the binder? I will sew them together. So, like this, just has the the regular stitching on it, mm -hmm. and. Let's see if we can get this closer. Oh, right. Like this has two two different colors on it. But yeah, I'll I'll put them together. But Cody makes them look pretty. Yeah, I design the covers and okay. uh, pick out the papers for the inside and the outsides and yeah, uh, kind of themes. I love them. I know they're so beautiful. I got to do that market with you guys, the hip handmade, and seeing all of them displayed was so pretty. And like the little mini ones. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> so sweet. So, how did you guys get into making this? Tell us kind of like your origin story of this. You take that one. Well, we've always seemed to have a thing for notebooks. I mean, we we just would find one we liked at the store, we'd buy it, and we would write in it not much, and then we'd find a new one we liked, and we'd buy it. And we have this like bookshelf full of half used yeah. notebooks. <laughs> I have the same. I have the same shelf. <laughs> And uh, I was watching a YouTuber called Nick the Booksmith. I really like her style and what she was doing. She was making these journals. And I showed John. I'm like, this is kind of cool. What do you think? He's like, I want to try that. Yeah. And so he found one for himself. And it turned out really cool. And I'm like, hey, I want one. You know, and then it was kind of like, uh, well, let's make these for gifts for Christmas for family and everything. And then it became, hey, you sell those? And one thing led to another and do custom yeah. orders things like that so here we are oh sweet that I've heard a couple people's stories of like and I happened to start a business that <laughs> like it's like <laughs> oh look I started the business which is like kind of the coolest way to organically get into something when you just naturally love it and people ask you for more <laughs> it's like that's <laughs> the best I love that so then what are your other jobs that you do you said that this isn't your main job well I work at a grocery store okay so I, I stock different stuff and then load the trucks so i'm there all the time and i yeah. stay home i fix the dinners and I, we have a pretty good sized garden and chickens and uh i do help out at a local greenhouse and a florist in town when they need me on holidays and things yeah that's sweet and you guys sell your stuff at um the empire market typically out in joplin um which is super sweet and then you sell your stuff online primarily do you have other places that you sell through or is it just many of those no it's just that for now yeah. we do have Facebook and instagram which would link you to our website but yeah yeah that's that's so sweet so what's yeah. your favorite part about doing this and having a business it's kind of just hearing some of the stories mm. like this one lady bought one and she's like you know this is just perfect for the, a prayer journal i've been wanting to do and another lady her son passed away and he was what was he early 30s yeah he was young young mm. guy and she brought his obituary papers to us and we Ugh. made the covers and the inner covers out of that yes. oh my goodness it was really cool really, really so yeah cool. that was that was a nice way to give her some closure yeah that's awesome yeah i feel like journaling is so therapeutic. I've been doing it for a long time. I haven't done anything written, like physically written in a long time because I've gone actually into making them too, which I was selling a couple of my like 
random ones that I had at the market we were both at, but um, it's just so cool to, how, to see how people use them. I think that is like one of the best parts of them because it's like literally a blank page that can be done, yeah. anything we do with. My yeah. favorite part about the business is uh, getting to work together. We've, we're both yeah. a creative and uh, we've wanted to find a way to combine our talents to make something and uh, this turned out to be it. Never would have dreamed this would have been it, but this is yeah, what it is. I love that. I love that like just trying something new can bring you together. That's like my partner and I, we, we haven't officially done it yet, but he gets really sparked by certain things. And I'm like, yeah, we could make that. <laughs> we could try that. <laughs> the next thing we want to try to do is um, I'm a rep for Young Living for Essential Oils. And he's a video game developer. And so he, we want to make a line of oils that people can wear that are inspired by video game characters. Oh, and so, yeah, so just like random little, yeah, you would never think, but like when you bring your interests together, it's really cool to see what can happen from it. Definitely. That's yeah. Awesome. So what's some advice you'd give to people wanting to start their own business, um, maybe doing shows, you've had, had some experience doing those or working with um, other vendors or um, what's the word, like, you don't wholesale do you through the market but whatever working with another company or something what are your what's some of your advice um i'd say when you're starting off keep records of what you buy mm -hmm. because you don't <laughs> get what you spend on stuff starting off yeah 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 and you know when you're doing shows just talk to the other vendors mm -hmm. you can learn so much and especially if they've been doing it for a long time, they, they're going to know all the different shows that are good to do yeah, and that yeah. really draw in a crowd. Right. Yeah, the vendor community is so friendly and everyone's kind of, even though we're, we're all selling to the same audience, we have different things. So we can, yeah. if you, you buy something that's great, then we all win. We all win if, if people are supporting these exactly. vendors. So they're very friendly at helping with uh, just different advice and I like to just walk through and look at people's setups how did they set up and uh, get mm -hmm. inspiration oh what a cool idea and you know be sure to let them know that and yeah yeah so I, that's the best part I always try to make sure I have help with me at shows so that I can go do that and talk to everybody because you know you get stuck in your own booth obviously when you have to when it's busy but I think it is super important to others like you know, I've met you guys and I met Maple and Orange at the Hip Handmade. She makes that, cro the beautiful crocheted stuff. I don't know mm -hmm. if you remember her. Um, Melinda is her name. But yeah, I have like a bunch of different maker friends now in, in all parts of the country. And it's super cool to support each other and learn how to just have different, yeah, different setups. And I do that all the time. I'm always looking at how people set up their stuff because I'm like never satisfied with the way that I do it. <laughs> So I feel like it's always fun to change things up and to grow that way. That's sweet. Another, another advice I would give someone that's thinking about doing vendor sales is uh, don't forget that your customer doesn't know anything about what you're doing. I mean, that you're walking up to is brand new to them. So, you know, explaining, we, we've, we've thought setting this up, everyone will be able to tell these are books, that these are journals. <laughs> <laughs> they were really shocked at the, the looks that people just, they didn't know what they were. Even in all our names, says Little House Journals, you know, we found ourselves stating these are blank journals, notebooks, sketchbooks, um, custom made, handmade. And then I yeah. found out hand sewn, people don't connect the word they sewn with a book. They, 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 right. They, yeah. They have no idea how it's made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're, they're used to these machine made. Yeah. Blue. Oh. Yeah. Made well, by the thing that I saw you guys did, which was really cool, was that, John, you were making books the entire time during the market. And I think that, that having that element of it is really exciting for people to see because, like, I do that even at my shows. Like, I'll bring projects to work on and sit on and paint or whatever I'm doing because it just gets people watching your process a little bit. And especially yeah. with you guys, if people don't know, <laughs> you can literally just show them then and they can understand. Yeah. Right. And then that gives them an opportunity to ask questions and just kind of get engaged. So if you have a craft that you can make while you're at the show and you have time, go for it. I think it draws people. Yeah, exactly. I, so I do pet portraits as one of my many yeah. 
items that I sell. Um, so I do like yeah. custom people's pictures and then I make them. And it's funny because at a show I did up here by me, I was, I had a ton to work on that weekend. I was like swamped. It was like right before Christmas and I'm like, but I have to do this show. So <laughs> I was sitting there painting and whenever I was done with them, I would put them out in the booth so people could look at them. But you know, they were already called for, but this woman, she was like looking at the one, she goes, this is a golden retriever. Right. And I was like, yep. Yeah. And I forget the name of the dog, but it was like, I don't know. It's just like, not even the most dog name. I don't know. Something like tank or something. <laughs> and she was like, okay, I'll take this one. And I was like, <laughs> oh, well, that's for someone else. Like they bought that one for their dog tank. <laughs> and she was like, wait no way because i know someone who has a dog like this name tank and i was oh, like no. what do you think the odds are that i would just, like make one with the name on it especially an odd name like that it wasn't like bingo or yeah Matt. it was spot like it was like super <laughs> yeah it was so oh it was leo that's what it was it was leo oh. it was like a, like a lion you know kind of a yeah. golden retriever dog oh my god i was dying laughing she goes but i i'll buy it and i was like <laughs> well i appreciate that like i can take your order and i'll yeah. make you one custom to the dog that you have <laughs> oh my gosh it cracked me up it was i was like okay ma'am um anyways so it's just so funny people are really <laughs> interesting <laughs> when the questions people ask and the crazy things you just it makes it, make, keeps you on your toes. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, so how have you guys been pivoting? I know that like spring markets, everyone was supposed to be at spring shows or working with rest or restaurants, working with shops and markets and stuff. So how have you guys pivoted now because of what's been going on? Um, really, we just kind of took some time and really looked at what we had to offer people. Mm -hmm. and just seeing how much of the community like all the musicians and how much the artists are just giving back to the people it just yeah. kind of really made me think that we could drop all of our prices just mm -hmm. to really help people out because journaling yeah. help a lot of people yeah and people that do art journaling you know they can't write very good but they they just want to doodle and just kind of get it out very therapeutic yeah and so we just really we reevaluated all of our prices and really made them more acceptable for people of yeah. all brands, or yeah. Uh, price bracket yeah and that's hard because i know i know what it takes to to have to make a decision when you know how long it takes to stitch a book together <laughs> and i know how long it takes to stitch a book together and it is not for the faint of heart and it's like especially to make it look precise like it takes a lot of craftsmanship and you know people consumers, most consumers don't understand the value of the creative effort that goes goes into products um that are handmade and so i know from experience too just how how hard that is to make that choice but i think that for anyone doing that you guys included like you'll you'll see the benefits of that through customers returning you know from referrals like it'll just grow your connection to people more so i think that that's really great that you guys did that yeah and really that's all we want to do is just connect to more people and make yeah. make our stuff accessible because it doesn't do me any good to have all these blank journals right on, <laughs> on yeah. so, right. You know, if they can bring someone some help in some way then you know by all means yeah you know. exactly i need to write a note down for myself because i want to ask you something when we're done here um <laughs> So, <laughs> so how can people support you right now? You have your stuff in your shop, um, but tell us more about what people can do to support you guys. Really, it's just kind of look at what we do. And, you know, even if you don't want to buy it or you can't afford it or, you know, whatever your reasons are, even if you just, like, share the stuff, yeah. Yeah. that mm -hmm. increases, you know, the audience that we can get to. I mean, like yeah. I say, we're, we're not out here to, you know, make a killing on this stuff. We we genuinely enjoy making them, mm -hmm. and we want people to enjoy using them. And yeah. so get them out there. Get them in people's hands. And we do on our website have a donation. If they someone just doesn't 
feel the need or know anyone that needs a journal but wants to support what we do and especially if John's wanting to build making the the pins um we have an awesome sauce donation button on our website yep. so I love that. Can pitch in that way too but that's a there's, there's also gift cards on the website yeah okay sweet oh. Yeah, because you guys make such unique covers for everything. I, I bet people might have a hard time choosing what to get for someone if they don't know their style in like entirely or just have you have too many good ones to pick from. <laughs> so that's yeah. helpful. I think there's around 70 or so that's listed, but oh, wow. I don't have everything listed. I've got <laughs> little minis and bookmarks and all kinds of stuff that's not on there. So Yeah. But we love custom orders, and like you said, uh, the gift cards are cool because, you know, we can do customized stitching colors, different papers. We do tea stain paper as well as regular art paper. We do, you know, we can make it themed and whatever you want. You can send us an image or something that we can put on there. I mean, the sky's the limit, and we love letting the customer let their creativity come out. We've had some really cool uh journals come out that way we had a girl who got a gift from a friend who went to japan and he gave her some uh candy japanese candy and the box was beautiful it had this wrapping on it oh, and cool. she just loved it. and she's like i want to give him a thank you can you make this wrapper into a journal cover oh i love that and so this front of this is this gorgeous japanese you know image and colors and then i just made the matching insides and stuff and it made a really neat gift but again yeah. that was your idea and it's so cool right. to allow our customers to use their creativity with us and we love that yeah i love that collaborative idea too i that's so much of what i do as well too but i think that that's cool to let people know that they can send you paper or something that they want included in it and you guys can put it in there for them because i think that sometimes people have like the smallest ounce of an idea of something that they want, but like have no idea how to execute it. So <laughs> it's helpful to have connections. Help them out. We love that. Yeah. Oh, that gives me so many ideas too for people. Like, <laughs> it's like I'm a I'm a paper hoarder, and I know people that are paper hoarders, and so if you can. Yeah, if like I, if you can get you guys paper to make into something cool, like that's like a perfect people or to keep for yourself and actually it be functional instead of just sitting in your craft box. <laughs> right, collecting dust, yeah. Yeah, so can you just give us a quick like range of like just your price range? People will obviously be able to go look through your site too, but um, like your teeny tiny guys, how much do those cost people and, and what's like the most expensive ones you do? I don't think the minis are listed just because the shipping okay. is sure, going to sure. be more than they are. Yeah. But I mean, most things are 30 to, I think, 30 to 50 or so. I think okay. we do some, have some now in the $20 bracket too. So, gotcha. yeah, like I said, we, we adjusted everything. So I don't quite remember. <laughs> yeah, people will be able to go look. Yeah, that's awesome. So sweet. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time today and chatting. I'm so happy to have you in our group and people can go try to win your free spirit journal that you guys have made. That's so beautiful. That's over in the silent auction or what am I saying? Virtual basket auction. So many different words there in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things it's out there. People can go try to win that. Um, but have a great rest of your day and we'll talk soon. Thank you for having us. Thank you uh, for having us. Of Bye. course. We'll talk soon, guys. Bye.